I want you to think about a song that has spoken to your heart, one that you thought it was written for you the first time you listened to it. What song comes to your mind? Have you ever asked yourself, why? Why this song? Maybe at first, the answer seems obvious. You really like the song. But if you dig deeper, you realize that songs tell us what we want to hear in a very creative way. In my case, my go-to song is Eye of the Tiger by Survivor. The moment when I hear the beat of the drums, I start to think about the most difficult challenge that I'm facing. And don't ask me why, but it instantly motivates me to fight. Songs are a special way of communication. In my opinion, one that speaks directly to the heart. And here is the key, the heart. While I was growing up, I noticed that my type of communication was very different from others. My mother always reminds me that in the first day of kindergarten, while all the kids were crying for their moms, I was passing one by one, sharing them a hug and some words of encouragement. I imagine something like, don't worry, it's gonna be okay, calm down. But actually only my mom knows what I really said that day. What I want to say is that I decided to see communication as the most powerful way to connect with people. In the last five years, I've been involved with different leadership groups, teams, and professionals. My main goal has been to build an environment same from all the gossip, prejudice, and paradigms, and make it more open to this connection that I've talked about. I have named this way of communication between teams and professionals heart-to-heart -heart connections. At first, it was not a concept that I built to write a book or a, an article to explain the steps. I just knew that heart-to-heart -heart connections is a path that you can decide to follow to design your life and all the personal relationships it may create. You may have heard this term before, but it's not usually applied in the workplace. However, it can really make the difference to improve team performance. I understood this last year while I was working as a consultant in a technology company here in Guatemala, and they gave me exactly this challenge, create an environment that improved team performance. At first, it seemed a hard task, because I barely knew the team. I helped the company during the quarantine of the pandemic, so all of my first meetings were virtual, and only a few members turned their cameras on. Actually, something very usual during the virtual meetings today. But for a person like me that needs to create real connections with people, this was a difficult challenge. So I decided to organize a face-to-face -face activity with all the safety protocols and everything else. The activity was called the Y Mural. I took the idea from Jeff Hoffman, global entrepreneur and motivational speaker. The activity consisted in asking everyone to bring a picture that represented their why. Why were they working in the company? And the idea, was to share all the whys and paste them in the wall with the promise that one day they were supposed to be taken off because the whys were already achieved or accomplished. The day of the activity, I really didn't know what to expect. I was just hoping that they took the activity seriously. But it all started as planned. Actually, I could feel the anxiety of everyone to share their whys. Each and every team member took their turn. And being honest, some years later, I finally understood the concept of heart-to-heart -heart connections. Many of the whys were very unexpected and powerful for me. There were things like to provide a decent home to a family, or to be worthy enough to see your daughter again, or to be able to travel back to a native country, or they were just simple dreams that would make them and their family happy. That day, we all created a heart-to-heart -heart connection. Sharing our whys made us to get to really know each other, it crossed the barrier of the daily work role. Since that day, I felt that I was not only working for me and my personal goals, but I was also working to help my coworkers achieve theirs. I felt, with some affection I may say, that my role in the company was very important to help my teammates grow in a personal and in a professional way. But that connection was even more powerful when I noticed that they felt the same about me. That day, the 14 team members felt valuable. They felt important for the company because in some way, they found other 13 reasons for them to make their best in their roles. Heart-to-heart -heart connections consist in the questions, the way we ask them, the interest we show in other people, the respect we show to their ideas, the participation we give them in a meeting. It is all about the details. 
as leaders, CEOs, and team members, we have in our hands the possibilities to create these connections, actions that will make our partners feel valuable, important, and encouraged. Heart-to-heart -heart connections is all about empathy. It's about making people believe that you believe in them. But it's not a skill that you can apply as a method in a meeting. It is a decision that you have to make every day in the form you want to communicate with people. After this activity, I realized that heart-to-heart -heart connections is not necessarily related to face-to-face -face interactions. Once we as a team gave a step forward to our relationships, even the virtual meetings were excited and interesting. We just have to pay attention in what type of communication we want to create. Is it only a virtual connection, social media interaction, a like, or a message, or is it related to the heart of the person that is in the other side? We are living in a globalized and digital world that is constantly changing, so it's very important that we ask this question. Now that I'm 21, I can assure you that I'll still have that two-year-old heart looking for someone in the need of a hug, a word of encouragement, or a piece of advice. But what is most important is that I understand that if I care about other people, their goals, and their ideas, I have the power to make my family, friends, and teammates perform better in their daily lives. And the surprise is that they can do the same for me. Thank you.